What inspired me to become a pilot was my father. I really wanted to be an airline pilot just like him. Every time my father took me up in an airplane, I loved everything about it, but he never really let me fly. I'd go out to the airfield where my brother was taking lessons and I'd stand there by the airplane when it came in and I'd say, my turn. He finally understood that I didn't want to just play as a pilot, I wanted to really be one. I wrote to every single airline in America in 1972 asking for a job. And every single airline wrote me back and said no, except American Airlines. I think American just had a fundamental fairness of hiring a woman that was equally as qualified as the guys. I think that was a really admirable thing that they did. And they've been inclusive ever since. I was the first female pilot for a major airline and actually the first female flight engineer in the world. When I hear about the legacy of women pilots, I really think about the people that came before me. Harriet Quimby, she flew across the English Channel at 3,000 feet in an open cockpit airplane. Bessie Coleman, she was the first black person in the world to get a pilot's license. I really consider them my mentors and they really just kept me going. I, I never wanted to stop, I just wanted to fly. By the time American hired me, there was a lot of publicity and I think a lot of airlines opened their doors and started hiring women then. I was very proud of that. The sky's not the limit anymore, it's limitless and it's filled with opportunity.